So now let us talk about the component of fixed appliance we have. Component of fixed appliance students can be divided into the active and the passive components we have. So active component students are divided into the separators, arch wires, elastic, springs, while the passive components are the brackets, bands, accessories, and the molar tube. Accessories can be the lock pin, it can be ligature wires or the module, and the separators can be of metal or they can be of elastic. Now, first of all, when we talk about the active component of the fixed appliance, the so first one is the separator. Separator is a elastic ring separator, it's a dumbbell shape, and the separator will help you in opening the contacts between the adjacent tubes. So you can do the band around it. Then we have the arch wire. Arch wire can be of gold, stainless steel, it can be of night eye, TMA arch wire, multi standard arch wire. Then the springs can be for uprighting, torquing, rotating, open coil spring, close, close coil spring. Now the elastics, uprighting elastic like class 1, class 2, class 3, you can have box elastic, diagonal elastic, cross elastic, elastomeric chains, they are e-chain, short long, elastic threads, elastic ligatures, elastic modules. The passive components, you have the bands, entire band or molar band, then you have the brackets, the lingual attachments like in the form of a lingual button, lingual cleat, lingual sheath, eyelet, lock pins stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and the ligature wires, the preformed and the non-preformed one. Now, if you look at the component of fixed appliance here, we can clearly see there is a bracket here. Then you have a hook that helps in attaching the elastic. Now, this is the band. See the band around the tooth. Then these are the ligature style that help in holding the wire to the bracket slot. This is the orthodontic wire and these are the molar tubes which help in attaching of the Elastics. A is the ligature here. Ligature student is an arch wire that is held to each bracket. Each arch wire is held to the bracket by the way of ligature, which can be either a tiny elastic or a ligature can be a twisted wire. Now, second B is the actual arch wire we have. So, arch wire is tied to all of the brackets and create forces to move the tooth into proper alignment. C, we have the brackets. So, brackets are connected to the bands or they are directly bonded on the tooth surface and they are holding the arch wire in place. The D is the metal band, right, the banding. So band is cemented actually on the tooth structure, which wraps around the tooth, around the entire circumference. Then we have the elastic hook and rubber band, which are the E here. The elastic hooks are used for attachment or rubber band, which help move the tooth towards their final position. First of all, let us talk about separator. Separator is used to create space for banding the teeth. Tight proximal contact does not allow proper banding of the teeth, right? So you have to do the separator. So it's used to device to wedge the teeth in place between the teeth. So you have elastic separator, dumbbell separator, brass wire separator. So you're going to remove them once the contacts are open in between the teeth. You can see the picture here of different types of separators here. Like these are the elastic separators, small, small bands you can see. These are plies that are used for putting the elastic separator. So this is the elastic ring separator, which is a small elastic ring. And they're used to create spaces between the adjacent teeth, right? So once the contacts are open, then you can put a band around the tooth. It is placed interdentally. Elastic ring separators are used to create separated between the adjacent teeth and they are grasped using a plier and stretched place interdentally. When elastic ring separators use, separation teeth can take around 7 to 10 days of time and they are most comfortable for the patient and they fit snugly in the interdental area. Other types of separators also you have, for example, you can see this is a dumbbell separator, pass through the contact between adjacent teeth. This can help you in separating teeth in about four days itself. This is a brass wire separator, wire of 0.5 or 0.6 mm. A soft brass wire is used, pass around the contact, and are twisted tightly. Is an application, but it's a wire, so it can lead to soft tissue damage. Is a metallic ring separator too, or a spring separator, Two days itself, it can separate the tooth. You can see the picture here. This is a castling separator. Now, when we talk about the next are the arch wires here. So, arch wires, ideal property of an arch wire should have springiness, should have range of deflection, stiffness, resilience, biocompatibility, frictional characteristic, formability. Formability is the amount of permanent deformation a wire can withstand before it breaks. You can see different shapes of arch wires are there like narrow IV arch form, oval arch form, right? These different types of arch forms you have. So most natural arch form falls in either of the three primary form we have. Either it can be narrow or V-shape or it can be oval or it can be square or 
U-shaped. The classification of arch fire stoned is based on the material used. We can have gold and gold alloy, stainless steel can be made up of nitri, beta titanium, cobalt, chromium, nickel or optiflex arch wire. And based on the cross section, the arch wire can be round, it can be square in cross section, rectangular, it can be even multi-stranded. The components of the fixed appliances, the third one, in the components of the fixed appliance, the third component we have are the bands. Bands are thin strip of stainless steel which are adapted to the contours of the tooth to which attachments are welded or they are soldered. We have preformed bands, also you have custom made bands. You can see these bands, so they are cemented on the tooth structure. Usually on the molars, we always have to put a band. So we just put a bracket there, the bracket can fracture because of masticatory forces that are falling on the tooth. Now the components of the fixed appliances, first one that we are talking about the bands, you can have a preformed band with molar tube reduce the shear side time and increase the patient comfort right these are preformed bands they come in different sizes or you can have make the band as per patient's circumference of the tooth that are custom made custom made definitely require more complex steps you can see the band here it has a ball and hook that will help in attaching the elastic to it and the nitai call spring to it, it also have an accessory rectangular tube that can be used for utility wire the rectangular main tube with detachable buckle lid, the tube can be converted to bracket F if required. The left molar band with pre-welded triple buckle attachments. Now when we use banding, when we use bonding. So banding is when you are attaching uh, or cementing a band around the circumference of the tooth. So direct bonding of brackets and buckle tube is always an option. But there are certain situations where the use of banding is done like in case of posterior teeth as i told you because banding is going to resist the masticative force of mastication better as well in cases where external devices such as headgears are indicated if moisture control is difficult of course etching and bonding is very difficult the bonding needs thorough moisture contact if it happens it's difficult recurrent breakage of bonding attachment if it is happening some patient tends to break the bonded attachment repeatedly you go for banding there because you are cementing it. If you have need for both buccal and lingual attachment on the same tooth, you have to band the tooth that require buccal as well as lingual attachments. Next, we have are the brackets. Brackets, of course, students are one of the main components of the fixed ortho appliance and they are attached to the crowns of the tooth through which forces are mediated to the tooth by the arch wires and auxiliaries to achieve the tooth movement. So it is actually the tool that is going to hold your wire. So you can see. These are all the brackets here. You can see these are the ceramic brackets too. What are the different parts of the bracket we have? So if you look at the bracket here, this is the bracket. These are the wings of the bracket. This is the hook and this is the slot in which the wire is going to get inserted. So if you look at the bracket like this, these are the wings and this is the slot. Wings of the bracket, slot of the bracket. This is the base of the bracket. And this is another wing. On this picture, if you see it like this, this is the base of the bracket you have. You look at the base of the bracket, you can see it has a meshed up appearance, right? That will increase the surface area for better bonding. Mesh base. The highest quality uh, brackets made up of stainless steel. They have precise torquing, angulations and the correct slot size. Now, if you look further on the classification of the bracket system, bracket we know students can be made up of metal, it can be made up of plastic, ceramic or the zirconium. Based on the slot size, you can have brackets on the different measurements like 0 0.018 times 0 0.028 or 0 0.022 into 0 0.028. Brackets are also classified based on the metal that is used like cast metal, milled metal or metal injection molded brackets. Now, when we talk about according to the base of the bracket, also you can classify the bracket as large size, mini, ultra mini or uh, based based on the base it can be straight base or a curved base width narrow medium or wide the following type of braces as we discussed they are available you have metal braces ceramic braces self ligating braces and lingual braces and clear aligners which are called as invisiline the first is the metal braces that can be made up of stainless steel titanium cobalt chromium precious metal bracket the metal bracket which are most currently used are made up of high grade stainless steel that consists of 18 is to 8 composition, 18% chromium and 8% nickel. And stainless steel bracket are pretty good. They are economical as well as they are resistant to all types of corrosion, hygienic. But we know they are not as aesthetic. 
and may release nickel and chromium into the oral environment. Next one we have are the plastic brackets which are also there. They are made up of polycarbonate and plastic molding powder called as plexiglass. And these brackets did not last long because of their discoloration, fragility, breakage. They improved and reinforced plastic brackets in them. We have ceramic filler, ceramic reinforced plastic brackets which are more suitable for clinical use because they are more color stable. They have lower friction and have structural integrity to transmit orthodontic forces without getting distorted. Now ceramic bracket students, we know they are aesthetic alternative to your plastic bracket and they are made up of monocrystalline and polycrystalline ceramic material. The advantage is that they are stain resistance, they are biocompatible, color fidelity is very good, less conspicuous, less visible, aesthetically bet better. But fracture tendency is always with ceramics since it is brittle, abrasion of opposing teeth, they can also damage the enamel during the debonding procedure and of course ceramic bracket are more expensive than the metal bracket. So if you see here, this is the Invaseline. The method of aligning teeth are called as aligners in Vaseline. It has become very popular now with the adults and teeth. They are removable acrylic trays, consist of a series of customized clear BPA free plastic tray aligners that are removable. And typically you replace them every two weeks to keep your tooth moving in that desired direction. The length of time you wear the Invaseline retainers is the same as traditional type of braces actually. Now we have the lingual braces which are totally invisible because they are placed on inside of the teeth rather than outside. Disadvantage lingual brackets you can see here. They are expensive, not effective or very severe cases, tough to clean. Yes, they are uncomfortable. Normal adjustment are more difficult to achieve and take more time than the traditional bracket. Next one, we have the self-ligating bracket. So these braces consist of the same material as the traditional braces, excluding the elastic. We have traditional metal, clear and ceramic bracket all available in the self-ligating design. They incorporate a specialized clip in them instead of elastic. So small locking mechanism, which will lessen the pressure being applied on the tooth and doesn't need to be adjusted. Self-ligating braces, the brackets are easier to keep clean. Typically shift teeth into places faster than traditional bases, fewer adjustment necessary because of clips in them instead of elastic, less conspicuous or less visible than traditional bases. Now, so let us uh, discuss about the next component of fix plan. that's a molar tube. Molar tube, it has two slots. The one is the arch wire slot that is for main arch wire and the second slot is for headgear tube. If you look at this, these are all the molar tubes that you have. You can see there is one slot here. And this is another slot for the headgear if it is attached to the headgear. Then you have other auxiliaries like elastomer, metallic ligatures that are used to hold the arch wire within the bracket slot. Other auxiliaries you have is like elastic chain used for space closure, open bite. You can see these are elastomeric chains. Springs, that is one of the active component we have of fixed ortho. Types of spring are for uprighting, for torquing, for rotation or derotation rotated teeth, for open coil spring to open the spaces between the teeth, like space regaining, closed coil spring to close the spaces in between the teeth. You can see different springs here. This is first one is the uprighting spring. Then you have the torquing spring, the next one. You can see this. See the picture. This is the rotating spring that we have, this design. And this is the open coil spring. You also have closed coil spring. The next picture is a close, close coil spring. You can see some more pictures of close, close coil springs here. Then you have elastic rubber bands to move the teeth in prescribed direction. And these elastics or rubber band attach to small hooks on the bracket and bands are replaced regularly by the patient. They come in different sizes and strength presented by different. You can see here, they are all elastics. You also have elastic chains or power chains, continuous, short, medium and large filament. Elastic chains are also known as E chains and used for place closure in mixed ortho, like class 1 elastic for Angus class 1, class 2 elastic, Angus class 3, class 3 elastic for retraction, low end tear protrusion, Angus class 3, cross bite elastic for cross bite in posterior region. And box elastic is mainly for the open bite cases. Then you have diagonal elastic for closure of midline diastema, triangular elastic is for cuspal interdigitation, it brings about mild extrusion. And you also have the extra oral elastic that you use in conjunction with extra oral appliances such as face mask or headgear. You can see different types of elastics here. So how they are one from Masri canine to the molar in case of class 2 or from mandibular canine to Masri molar in case of class 3. 